Believing in God is the right path in life, but the CCP will not allow it. They issue notice and conduct investigations. They do stakeouts and spy on us and watch us openly and do unannounced visits. We don't have a safe place to worship God, but this is the day for our gathering. This cowshed of mine isn't very eye-catching, so my brothers and sisters have to gather here. Ugh. Hello? Hello? Everyone listen up. I have something to tell you. The government has issued a notice that any believers in God, illegal gatherings, or missionaries must be reported. There is a government reward. Did you hear that? There is a reward just for reporting us. Ugh. It's almost time. I have to go look. Hey, Sister Leo. Yes, go inside fast. <sighs> Hurry up. <gasps> You're here. Sister, come in. Okay. Sister, it's just me. Oh, Yuxing, get in here. Hey, Yuxing. Hey. Was anyone following you? There was no one. I checked. The entire way here. I was looking everywhere, keeping my ears open, afraid one of the CCP eyes was following me. Just having a gathering is not easy. For us ordinary folks to gather, we have to develop anti-reconnaissance capabilities. That's so true. With the CCP monitoring and arresting Christians, we can only meet three or four at a time. We don't dare to have a larger gathering. Here in China, having faith, gaining the truth, gaining life is not easy. The harder it is, the more we lean on God and pray to Him. By leaning on Him, we have faith and strength. We can understand the truth and gain His salvation. Yes. Without relying on God, we could not walk this path. I've been thinking. With this kind of CCP suppression and monitoring, being arrested is just a matter of time. When some people are arrested, they become Judases because of the torture. I'm worried. What if I'm arrested? Would I be able to stand witness and not be a Judas? We really need to have fellowship on this together. Every believer in China has to go through suppression and difficulties. No one can escape it. If we can't bear that kind of suffering, this path isn't easy to take to the end. The Lord Jesus said, For whoever will save his life shall lose it. And whoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. We want to gain the truth and the life, so we must be ready to give our lives to follow God. Understanding of this is the only way to have faith and stand witness. Yes. The CCP is constantly arresting us. This is something God allows. He is using it as a serving object, so that we can be overcomers before the great disaster. God says, Those who God refers to as overcomers are those who are still able to stand witness, maintain their confidence and their devotion to God. When under the influence of Satan and under siege by Satan, that is, when within the forces of darkness, if you are still able to maintain a heart of purity and your genuine love for God no matter what, you stand witness in front of God. And this is what God refers to as being an overcomer. <laughs> when you face sufferings, you must be able to not consider the flesh and not complain against God. When God hides Himself from you, you must be able to have the faith to follow Him to maintain your previous love without allowing it to falter or disappear. No matter what God does, you must submit to His design and be more willing to curse your own flesh than to complain against Him. When you are faced with trials, you must satisfy God in spite of any reluctance to part with something you love or bitter weeping. Only this can be called true love and faith. Amen. Amen. Hearing God's words, has really brightened my heart. Mine too. God allows the CCP to persecute us this way in order to test us and to perfect our faith and our love, to turn us into overcomers so that we are qualified to take on his blessings. Apparently, the savage CCP is just a serving object within God's work. 
Thanks to God. This fellowship with all of you really builds my confidence. No matter how savage the CCP is, how terrible the environment is, I'll keep reading God's words, going to gatherings and performing my duty. When we understand the truth and have knowledge of God, we'll have the faith and stature to stand witness for Him. Yeah. Thanks to God. How about we read more of God's words? Great! Great. Why don't we all pray first? Okay. okay. Lately, in order to get those Christians, I've been watching this house, watching that house. We got two of them at Old Lee's house just last month and got a nice fistful of cash. <sighs> hey, I tell you, early this morning, I saw three people rushing into Old Liu's cow shed. Could they be believers having a gathering? Well, I need to think of a way to get a look. Our village head said, eliminating all religious beliefs is our political duty handed down from the Central Committee. Hm. Auntie, open up. Hide yourselves. You two, behind the haystacks. Cowshed. Open the door. I know you're in here. Who is it? Oh, Director Dow. Excuse me, please, Auntie. Why are you dragging your feet? What is it? That door is about to break from your knocking. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just that our cat ran into your shed. You haven't seen it. Cat? Since when has your family owned a cat? We just got one. I saw that you had some guests come so early in the morning. Oh, you're so mindful of everything happening in other people's homes. Oh, come now, Auntie. You can hardly blame me for meddling. The government has ordered that Christian should be arrested. Everyone who comes to the village has to pass an inspection. I'm just following orders like everyone else. I'm sure you can understand that. Oh, that was just in your head. You're imagining things. No one has come over here. Eh? I always see you sticking your belly out, walking all over the place, as unhurried as a spy. Why did you get so hurried as soon as you brought up believers? There's a reward for reporting on believers. Why wouldn't I be hurried? What? <gasps> you know, as a sorority director, I have to take orders from the government. I have to lead the charge. I knew your vision was going. Even a thief isn't as thorough as you are. Uh, part of the job. To keep an eye on believers these last few years, I forded seas of people, crept through fields, climbed up on roofs, down into cellars. I've been through a lot, but haven't gained much. If they're having gatherings, they're really covert. We have to because of the CCP. What? Nothing. Oh, fine, fine. Listen, Miss Dow, I need to feed the cows. It's time to go make some food. Hey, Auntie. These haystacks of yours are really big, really full. Hey, what are you going there for? Looking for my cat. It's nothing but hay. It's I'm not here. just looking. I heard something. How could it have gotten in here? It's just a cow shed, right? Let me take a look. The cows. Ouch! Oh. <sighs> Mrs. Dow, even if you stuck horns on your head, you couldn't beat a cow. You just barged into their space. Do they really get you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I need to find my cat. See you later. Okay, bye. <sighs> come out. She's gone. Yijing, you can come out. Wow, that was really close. Luckily, she didn't find us. Otherwise, she definitely would have made a report. Our village cadre is also constantly watching and monitoring Christians. They're all so awful. It's so true. No, it's not safe here. Let's all go inside. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Please, make yourselves at home. It's really nice of you. The CCP arrests are so fierce, having a gathering is like guerrilla warfare. 
Caves, groves, farm fields, sheepfolds, cowsheds, we'll go wherever we can to gather. As we know, in democratic countries, people have freedom of belief. But the CCP treats believers as their enemies and rewards the people for making reports. They resist God and will go to hell, and they want to take the common people with them. It's so evil! The CCP is a dictatorship. They can do any evil thing they want. That's very true. They are making China an atheist zone. They define the Bible as cult literature, define Catholicism and Christianity both as being cults. They're demolishing churches and arresting Christians. So many brothers' and sisters' families have been wrecked by persecution. The Great Red Dragon is despicable. God allows them to press down on us. God's good will is within this. God says, It is greatly arduous for God to carry out His work in the land of the Great Red Dragon. But it is through such difficulty that God does a stage of His work to make manifest His wisdom and wondrous deeds. God takes this opportunity to make this group of people complete. The more the CCP persecutes us, the more clearly we see they are demons who resist God and cause harm to people. And the more we can detest and forsake them from our hearts, we can cast off Satan's dark influence and turn our hearts toward God. This is God's salvation. Without undergoing God's work of the last days and understanding some truth, we'd never have discernment over the CCP's resistance to God and its evil essence then how could we forsake it and turn toward God? We would only be able to follow it in denying and resisting God and be punished by God in the end. Before accepting God's work of the last days, I only knew that the CCP's reign was very dark and being enslaved by them was very painful. But what could I do about it? I could just submit and try to get by. Yeah. yeah. I'm so grateful for God's salvation. It was God who gave us a bright path forward, who has us pursue the truth, be honest people, people who obey God, so that we can be compatible with Him, be gained by Him. This way, we can escape from Satan's influence and we'll be qualified to enter the kingdom of heaven and receive God's promise. Right, thanks, thanks to, to God. God. <sighs> but I'm, I'm still not really at ease. You guys go ahead. I'll go have a look around, okay? Okay. okay. Mr. Hu, please, after you. Director Dao, you were given a task to check up on believers, but you couldn't do it. You had to have the village head do it himself. Uh, well, checking up on believers is a big deal. The rule from above is that if enough believers aren't apprehended, I'll be in danger of losing my position. And that wouldn't be good for you either. Of course, sir. Of course. Oh, sir. I shouldn't go in. That would definitely arouse their suspicion. I'll keep watch outside. Keep close watch. Who is it? Coming. Mrs. Liu, open the door. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, Mr. Hu, hello. Ah, you're here. What is it, Mr. Hu? Ha, I went to your house early this morning, and no one was home. So I figured you were in the cow shed. Yes, I need to feed the cows. Ah, so listen. Recently, we had a meeting in town. We need to look into people's daily lives and health issues. We have to make sure that everyone in town has health care. And so we'd like you to fill out a form. The cow shed is filthy. How about I go to the village committee tomorrow to fill it out? <laughs> this is a great initiative. Uh, we uh, need to get it done quickly. Uh, Please, come in. <laughs> Didn't I already fill something out a few days ago? Do you really need another one? Ah, uh, this shows that our leaders care for us. By the way, have any strangers come to your home recently? Actually, yes. Quite a few times. How many people at one time? Sometimes there were two. Sometimes even three. Who were they? There were men and women. They seemed dignified, and they were very stylishly dressed. 
They were all... Weren't they here to preach? All right, right. Buying cows. Uh, <laughs> Auntie Liu, tell the truth. Have any of those believers been here recently? N no, just people buying cows. Uh, does this have anything to do with health care? Uh, I filled this out and I have to feed the cows. You mind? What kind of attitude is that? Our village head isn't even done yet. <laughs> Look, Mrs. Liu, we're uh -huh. fellow villagers. Tell me the truth. Weren't the people who came to buy your cows actually believers? Oh, Mr. Hu, if you had just told me you were coming to look for believers, I would have just told you right away. You mean they? They really came here to buy cows. So, in fact, you're going house to house to get health care information is really just to get those believers. Come, Mrs. Liu. You must understand. The government hates believers above everything, and it particularly wants the almighty God followers. Beating them to death means nothing. That's right. If they can't all be swept up by us, how will the national leaders ever rest in peace? Ah, uh, the leaders must rest in peace, so I need to work faster. Rest in peace? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, be no, careful. No, no, no. Be at peace. Be uh, at peace. I haven't seen any of these believers either. Uh, rest in peace if you need to. Be at peace if you need to. Either way, you're done here, right? Hey, Mrs. Liu, you're a smart person. The government's attitude toward religious beliefs is extremely resolute. Anyone who doesn't follow along with the laws that they make will most likely have a really hard time. Of course. Mr. Hu, this government always wants the people to follow along. But I wonder if it has ever thought of what the people actually need. I know that I'm just a simple old farmer. I only know that people act while heaven watches, and those believers are good people. They are certainly not criminals. The CCP arrests them so blatantly, with no reason. Aren't they afraid of retribution? <laughs> the CCP will take on heaven and the earth. What retribution? Mrs. Liu, you know that the party is atheist. They don't believe in any sort of retribution. They only believe in revolution. Anyone who doesn't listen to them will be killed by them. Huh. I filled out the form, and I told you I haven't seen any believers. So then, if you gentlemen don't need anything else, please go on with your day. Huh. Hey, wait, Hoa! Doesn't a neighbor's cow have the mad cow disease? Oh, that's right! Well, Mrs. Liu has so many cows, I think we need to go take a look. Okay! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Mr. Hu, you shouldn't just barge into my home like this. This is called going down to the grassroots. Mr. Hu. Sir! No, I heard something! <laughs> Liu Zhumian, you wouldn't be hiding believers in here, huh? Liu Zhumian! Ah! Ouch! Sir! There's no one here. Uh, 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 of course not. Why would anyone be in a cow shed, right? <laughs> I was really so confused. Why would the village cadre want to come to inspect a cow shed? Ah, uh, Mrs. Liu. I was only concerned that your cows were sick. As a government representative, I'm taking care of the people. <laughs> if the government always cared for the people the way you did today, it would be unbearable for everyone. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Hu. If your caring work is done now, I need to feed the cows. Uh, okay, Hua. Let's go. Let's take a form to the next Ooh, home. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Liu, go ahead. Uh, it's okay. No need to see us out. Mr. Hu, any news? Director Dao, where are the people you mentioned? <gasps> Could they have gotten away? There's no way. I did never see them leave. Fine then. You'll keep watch here. Let's go. <gasps> In such a short time, they've made two trips to bother us. It seems they know that we've had a gathering here. It was hard to find this meeting place, but we've been spotted again. Wait here. I need to go out and take a look. If no one's there, you have to leave right away. Okay. Hello? There 
They're in the cow shed. They're believers. They're about to run. Well, I heard them very clearly, right from outside the shed. Okay, we'll be there right away. Oh, hurry up. There's a problem. Old Dow reported to the police. You have to go now. Go at the back. Hurry. <laughs> Take the back road. You're finally here. A bunch of people are gathering in are the cow sure? shed. Definitely, I swear. If no one's there, I'll be struck by lightning. <sighs> All right, let's go. Huh. Stop this. What are you shed. doing here? Uh, uh, get out of my way. Uh, Search the place carefully. Hurry, over here. Uh, uh, do you have a search warrant? Hey, uh, look here. Uh, this is my warrant. Uh, uh, Captain, no one's here. No one? Dow? Uh, sir, I really heard them talking inside the cow shed. They all must have run away. That's pretty likely. You broke the door down? You searched the house? What are you even doing here? Oh, uh, we thought there were believers gathering here. A misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. <laughs> right, uh, a, a misunderstanding. misunderstanding. That might be easy for you to say. But you've come in here, ruined someone's home? Yeah, sure. I think they just ran too fast. Okay, okay. Just clean it up and it'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Isn't there any rule of law here? Huh? Rule of law? I'm the law! Ah! Don't believe everything's fine just because we didn't catch anyone. You old biddy. Remember this. If you dare have Christian gatherings here, huh, I'll make sure you end up in prison with them. Uh, hey, sir, what do you say we go have a drink? Huh? Let's okay. go. You... Let's have Come a on. drink. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Out of the way. Sorry, Captain. You, I can explain. At? I huh. really saw Out of the way. They must have escaped. <laughs> This is such a vast country, but us Christians can't find a single place to gather peacefully. Being a believer in this country is so 